All right, here's a good one. Do you think Purdy is a future slash franchise quarterback for 49ers? And if so, what do you believe will happen to them once they have to pay him possibly, probably top 10 money? Yeah, he's their future QB. Uh, I think he's good. He's above average. Fits the system very well. I mean, if they if they stop the Chiefs on fourth and one, it's a no-brainer. He's there. Everyone's talking about him as the future. Yeah, of course. They'll be back here. He's good. Fits the system well. Absolutely. Brock Purdy had a very good year, and I think he's a solid quarterback. But I firmly believe Shanahan and Lynch will be exploring opportunities to move on from him. Now, does that mean they will move on? Absolutely not. I don't think they feel a lot of pressure to. On the other hand, I think that if they're able to get an up, like because I think they'll be interested in moving away from him and bringing someone new, he might get signed to a sizable deal, but they'll be ready to jettison it just like they did with Jimmy G. Yeah, they. I agree with you. I, they've shown they're willing to move on from someone who, who looks stable and is taking them far. I mean, Jimmy G. What Super Bowl, NFC Championship game, <laughs> and they're ready to move on from him. Yeah, and, make, like, and just the gap that. between like top, like top ten can mean a lot of things, right? It can mean fifty five million a year, or it can mean forty million a year, right? Mm-hmm. That's their between one and ten. If, I think they'll be willing to pay him a low top ten money. I do not see him getting anything like. Yeah, like I think the I Derek think, Carr deal is a more realistic expectation than the Joe Burrow deal. Sure, sure. But you're saying like why, like why take when you have somebody who has shown that he's stable in your offense and can be very, very solid. Like why move on? Like they moved yeah. on from Jimmy G and they took Trey Lance yeah. and that was a total bust. Absolutely. Oh, they why were, would they you were move lucky. on from Alex Smith? Lu- he took you to the playoffs. He had a Pro Bowl season. Excellent, excellent player. Why would the Chiefs move on from Alex Smith? Because he was old. Brock That's Purdy's not 20. why they moved on from Alex Smith. Brock Purdy's 24 years old. They, Alex Smith they is- want a better quarterback play. You need... Look, the, the 49ers time and time again have tried this let's build a supernova around a decent quarterback. They're sick of it. They're going to look for an opportunity. They, they do keep on. losing with it. I, he, the way the way I would answer is kind of a combination they, of your guys' got, answers. They got lucky taking Purdy last in the draft. Oh, they were they, completely bad. And they out. got a good player. Like, did you see? Stick the, with him. Did you see about uh, when uh, Shanahan was running practices after after drafting them? He was went up to uh, he went to the owners and he was like, you know, guys, you're not gonna like this, but our third string quarterback's our best guy. Like, you know, Lance was not progressing as as they expected. Jimmy G was still there. You know, it's fine, but yeah, that that's a lie, by the way. Oh, well, it, and if that weren't a lie, yeah, yeah. then they wouldn't have gone in with Trey Lance looking to start for a long time. But like you have Jimmy G who's That's solid. And then I think I think they probably still threw out Lance. So with the I'm saying that this is this is no different than Matt Rule coming out saying I really wanted to take Brock Purdy with the Panthers and the owner just wouldn't <laughs> let me. Well, come on. Exactly I mean, if you draft same. Trey Lance three, you're probably going to start him with the hope that he can live up to the expectations of what a number three pick should be. But then going into this year, they were also on the Trey Lance train. Like, no, they weren't. Off. They were never on the Trey Lance train. But it was going, it was gonna be but Brock Purdy. that whole issue with going from Jimmy G to the Trey Lance bust is exactly why you should not move on from Brock Purdy. No, they're not. The, the, Brock Purdy will be the quarterback next year. If the opportunity comes to draft someone that Kyle Shanahan is in love with and thinks can be a top five quarterback in the NFL, which they don't think Purdy can be a top five quarterback in the he NFL. He doesn't have to be. No, he doesn't have to be. But again, may, maybe he does because they can't win these games. But like Mahomes is a difference. I mean, obviously Mahomes is a difference. If he can get a top five quarterback, no, I Mahomes expect Shanahan. Is a difference. Like, I expect some- Shanahan to go after a top five quarterback. If he sees one in the draft or somewhere, that could happen. I mean, people are even... T- discussing the possibility of Kirk, which won't happen, but um, no, Pur- Purdy. And to be very fair to Brock Purdy, no, uh, dude's in his second year, yeah, and he's gone to the Super Bowl in the NFC Championship game. Has lost what five yeah. games? Like, why on earth do you move on? You don't. He, you know, he he. Brock Purdy has done very well, but you know, when all of us sit here, if we were to rank our quarterbacks, Brock Purdy is the 16th to 18th best quarterback in the league for me right now. If that's all he has to be. Well, that's all he has to be. But if you can, if you can be better, you go for better. Well, I take the risk. He dropped the Shanahan three and he stunk. I, I'm more interested to see can Purdy take another leap because Purdy's still so young. I'd like to see if Purdy can take another leap into that borderline top ten, which some people would argue, you know, he, he can. I just, I'd like to see him have some. I, I wish he were the quarterback people describe him as. People talk about his anticipation and ability to read the field. If he can actually learn to do those things, he could be a very good quarterback. Yeah, I, I, the jury's still out on me for Brock Purdy being a. a long-term franchise quarterback, uh, which I, I believe it should be. And yeah. we'll see what happens. 
But right now, you're right, Jack. They win the Super Bowl. It's, oh, wow, all right, this 49ers team, maybe they can make a run here. Yeah, and they were one play away. For the 49ers fans, you know, they've had some really bad losses. Kyle Shanahan himself now has had two brutal 10-point blown leads as head coach of the Niners and the 28-3 game. Every Super Bowl he's been in, he's blown a 10-point lead. Yeah, but I mean, he's had some horrible, horrible losses. This one hurt so much because it did feel like for a a portion of the night, you know, the majority of the night, it seemed that San Francisco was playing better than Kansas City. Um, but if you're a 49ers fan, we're going to talk about our top five NFC and AFC contenders for next season at the end of the show. And you still have to feel pretty good if you're a San Francisco yeah. fan about your chances heading into next year of getting back to this game. But at some point, you know, the magic eventually runs out. They've been very fortunate for the last five years. They've gone to the NFC championship game. Two of those years, they've gone to the Super Bowl. And when you've had these heartbreaking losses coming so close time and time again, eventually you don't get back there. It might feel like, oh, okay, we should run through. The Lions are okay. The Packers are okay. The Eagles, Cowboys, we should be able to get back. It's not not always the case. I mean, it's hard. And and, I mean, uh, Dan Campbell said this too. The Lions are a good team. And and he's like, like, to be honest, to be totally honest, you never know. Like this might be our last opportunity here. It is super hard to get back to to this to this stage of the game. No, I mean, if you give the 49ers, say they get the one seed and they're going into the playoffs next year and give them a 70% chance of winning every game they're in. Very generous, right? 70%, 35% chance of winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah and it's look, hard. Like teams who have the number one seed, and I do this so often. Like when I look at a number one seed and a team who I just find dominant like this year's Niners for most of the season, I'm going to go, like, yeah, they're just going to, they're going to walk in the Super Bowl easily. And they played two home games and probably two games they should have lost. Yeah, to they should have lost it's to Green Bay. It's so Green Bay hard to win football playoff games. It, yeah. Well, it, think, it's, think about like the past two Super Bowl losers. You had the Eagles last year and everyone thinks, okay, you know, they get off to the nine and one start this season. They should be able to find their way back to the Super Bowl. That's the hope. They all basically sudden, now, missed the playoffs. Yeah, basically missed the playoffs. And, and now your starting quarterback's called into question. Your head coach is being called into question. Two years before that, or a year before that, the Bengals go to the Super Bowl. That's, oh, we have Joe Burrow. We're going to be able to roll back. You know, Jamar Chase was a rookie that season. You know, Burrow gets hurt. You have the gauntlet of AFC quarterbacks. Yeah, Would by, it be by, by, the way, by the way, the Chiefs have won two Super Bowls since the last time they lost to the Bengals. <laughs> In, in case like, Bengals fans are yapping like there's some rivalry here, like the Bengals are somehow competitive with the Chiefs. Listen, guys, take it easy. 